This video will cover questions regarding the topic of optimization problems, wire for maximum minimum area. Question 1. There is a 12 meter wire. This part makes a circle. After making a circle, bend the last to make a square. Let x be the length used to make the circle. Then the remainder becomes 12 minus x. Let r be the radius of the circle. Then the circumference 2 pi r is the same length of x. Then r equals x over 2 pi. The area of the circle is pi r squared equals pi times r is x over 2 pi. Then squared pi times expand x squared over 4 pi squared then pi is cancelled x squared over 4 pi let s be the side of the square the perimeter for s is the same length of 12 minus x then s equals 12 minus x over 4 the area of the square AS equals side squared. Then we can rewrite as 12 minus x over 4 squared. Then simplify 12 minus x squared over 16. The combined area of the two figures are the area of the circle plus the area of the square equals x squared over 4 pi plus 12 minus x squared over 16. A prime of x equals 2x over, keep the constant, plus 2 times 12 minus x times 12 minus x prime over 16 equals 2 times 1, 2 times 2, x over 2 pi. 12 minus x prime is minus, then 2 times 1, 2 times 8, then 12 minus x over 8. We have to make a single fraction. We need a common denominator, which is 8 pi. So times 4 over 4 here, then times pi over pi here. Equals 4x minus pi times 12 minus x over 8 pi, then expand 4x minus 12 pi plus x pi over 8 pi. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0. That means the numerator is 0. Then we can rewrite as 4 plus pi x minus 12 pi equals 0. Then 4 plus pi x equals 12 pi. Then x equals 12 pi over 4 plus pi is rounded 5.279. The number line is here, 0 to 12. A prime of x, then 12 pi over 4 plus pi. When the testing number equals 1, the denominator 8 pi is always positive, so we check the numerator only. Use this 4 plus pi times 1 minus 12 pi is rounded minus 30.558, which is negative. When the testing number is 6, 4 plus pi times 6 minus 12 pi is rounded 5.150, which is positive. A prime changes from decreasing to increasing at x equals 12 pi over 4 plus pi. Now we verify that x equals 12 pi over 4 plus pi gives an absolute minimum value of a.
use this a of 12 pi over 4 plus pi is rounded 5.041 now we need to check which x has the greater value whether it is at 0 or at 12 a of 0 equals 9 then a of 12 equals 11.459 the maximum occurs when x equals 12 meters this means that the maximum area is obtained when only a circle is made without a square the minimum occurs when x equals 12 pi over 4 plus pi this is the second and last question There is a 20 meters wire. Let x be the length used to make the square. Let 20 minus x be the length used to make the equilateral triangle. Let's say S1, the perimeter 4s1 is the same length of x, then s1 equals x over 4. The area of the square is s1 squared, then x over 4 squared, which is x2 squared over 16. Let's say s2, the perimeter 3s2 equals the same as 20 minus x, then s2 equals 20 minus x over 3. Here is a special triangle with the respect angle of 60 degrees. The ratio is 2 to 1 to square root of 3. And divide by 2 on each side. 1, 1 over 2, and square root of 3 divided by 2. If S is the length of the equilateral triangle. Now times S on each side. Then 1 over 2S square root of 3 over 2S. The area of the triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. The area of the equilateral triangle with the side length of S is 1 over 2 times the base is S. Then h is square root of 3 over 2 times s. Then we can rewrite s square root of 3 s squared over 4. Then back to the original. The area of the equilateral triangle is square root of 3 over 4 times side squared, which is 20 minus x over 3 squared. Then square root of 3 over 4 times 20 minus x squared over 9. We can rewrite as square root of 3 times 20 minus x squared over 36. The combined area of the two figures are a of x equals x squared over 16 plus square root of 3 over 36 times 20 minus x squared then a prime of x equals 2x over 16 plus using the chain rule keep the constant and 2 times 20 minus x times 20 minus x prime then a prime of x equals 2 times 1 2 times 8 x over 8, 2 times 1, 2 times 18, then square root of 3 times 20 minus x over 18, then 20 minus x prime is minus 1. To find the critical numbers, we equate the derivative to 0, that means x over 8 minus square root of 3 times 20 minus x over 18 equals 0. The least common multiple of 8 and 18 is 72. Then times 72 on each side. 9x minus 4 square root of 3 times 
20 minus x equals 0. Then 9x minus expand 80 square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3x equals 0. Then combine together 9 plus 4 square root of 3x equals 80 square root of 3. Then x equals 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3 is rounded 8.699. The number line is here 0 to 20 a prime of x 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3. When the testing number is 1, use your calculator store key, which means it stores a specific value. So 1 store x, then use this. a prime of 1 is rounded minus 1.703, which is negative. When the testing number is a 10, use the store key again. Now 10 store x, then a prime of 10 is 0 0.288, which is greater than 0. a prime changes from decreasing to increasing at x equals 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3. Now we verify that x equals 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3 gives an absolute minimum value of a. Then a of 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3. Use your calculator store key again. It's rounded 10.874. Now we need to check which x has the greater value which is at 0 or at 20. a of 0 is rounded 19.245. Then a of 20 equals 25. The maximum occurs when x equals 20 meters. This means that the maximum area is obtained when only a square is made without an equilateral triangle. The minimum occurs when x equals 80 square root of 3 over 9 plus 4 square root of 3. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.